I want to welcome the Executive Vice President, Izumi Kobayashi, of MEGA here tonight. Thank you. We are going to speak about MEGA tonight and I have a few questions to ask. Who are MEGA and what do they do? First of all MEGA stands for Multilateral Investment Guarantee Agency. It is one of the of the five member groups of the World Bank Group. Their core mission is to enchance the flow to developing countries of capital and technology for productive purposes under conditions consistent with their developmental needs, policies and objectives, the basis of fair and stable standards to the treatment of foreign investment. They offer political risk insurance and guarantees. The guarantees help investors protect foreign direct investment against political and non-commercial risks in developing countries. MIGA was established in 1988 as an investment insurance facility to encourage confident investment in developing countries. MIGA focuses on member countries of International Development Association, in particular aimed at conflict-affected countries and targets projects that includes create new jobs, develops infrastructure, generates new tax revenues and takes advantage of natural resources through sustainable policies and programs. How did they respond during the crisis 2008? MIGA's response to the crisis is built around but not limited to a new global financial sector initiative focused initially on Europe and Central Asia. Under this initiative, which was discussed with the board in March 2009, MIGA will provide extended support to financial institutions seeking political risk insurance on cross-border investments for recapitalization or liquidity support to their subsidiaries. MIGA's total net exposure under this initiative would not exceed $1 billion in the Europe and Central Asia region and is expected to support with reinsurance capital flows of up to $3 billion in gross terms. This initiative is part of the coordinated international response to the global financial crisis in the region, specifically the joint IFI action plan in support of banking systems and lending to the real economy in Central and Eastern Europe. Secondly, as a means to leverage IFC's greater field presence, in February 2009 MIGA and IFC signed a joint marketing agreement to enable cross-selling of services and reduce possible duplication and competition. In total, MIGA provided coverage to financial sector projects in the Europe and Central Asia region for $1.2 billion, almost 88% of MIGA's new exposure during fiscal 2009. And thirdly, MIGA's ability to respond to crises has been constrained by its convention, which limits the agency's ability to cover freestanding debt or existing assets. MIGA has accordingly been seeking to accelerate changes to its convention while updating operational regulations to allow greater product flexibility. Do we now need a new development framework? Yes. One that would outline the essentials of good governance, transparency, voice the free flow of information, a commitment to fight corruption, and a well-trained, properly remunerated civil service. Secondly, it would specify the regulatory and institutional fundamentals essential to a workable market economy, a legal and tax system that guards against caprice, secures property rights, and that ensures that contracts are enforced, that there is effective competition and orderly and efficient processes for resolving judicial disputes and bankruptcies a financial system that is modern, transparent, and adequately supervised, with supervision free of favor, and with internationally recognized accountancy and auditing standards for the private sector. Third, a new framework that would call for policies that foster inclusion, education for all, especially women and girls, health care, social protection for the unemployed, elderly, and people with disabilities early childhood development and mother and child clinics that will teach health care and nurture. Fourth, the framework would describe the public services and infrastructure necessary for communications and transport, rural and trunk roads, policies for livable cities and growing urban areas, so that problems can be addressed with urgency, not in 25 years when they become overwhelming. And alongside an urban strategy, a program for rural development that provides not only agricultural services, but capacity for marketing and for financing and for the transfer of knowledge and experience. A framework would set forth objectives to ensure environmental and human sustainability, so essential to the long-term success of development and the future of our shared planet, water, energy, food security, issues that must also be dealt with at the global level. 
and we must ensure that the culture of each country is nurtured and enriched so that development is firmly based and historically grounded. All of these five, of course, within a supportive and effective macroeconomic plan and open trade relations. Where is MEGA today? Considerable efforts have been undertaken by MEGA to strengthen business organization in the past 18 months. As recognized before the crisis but even more now MEGA needs to revamp and refocus its business development activities. MEGA managers agree that historically developing new business has been challenging for MEGA. This is an outcome of the fact that MEGA's business is entirely demand-driven. However, it worth noting here that considerable efforts have been undertaken to address the problem. There has been a considerable strengthening of MEGA's sectoral approach, including the hiring 18 months ago of experienced sector team leaders and the recruitment of new staff to fill key underwriting positions, recognizing though that one of MEGA's constraints is its small size and the lack of a field network to conduct continuous outreach to prospective clients. A number of important steps have been taken, including First, in fiscal 2010 MEGA introduced an Agents and Finders program, aimed at creating an external network that is incentivized on a success fee basis to bring forward projects for MEGA's consideration. Second, MEGA has entered into an agreement with IFC to leverage IFC's global network of staff and client contacts to help identify new business opportunities for MEGA. And third, in fiscal 2011, MEGA has put in place a small but experienced team of staff in Asia to establish a presence in that region where the market for political risk insurance is growing. As a result of these efforts, MEGA's pipeline of prospective new business today is considerably healthier than it has been at any time since fiscal 2008. In the end, Mrs. President will we succeed or will we suffer together? We owe it to our children to recognize now that their world is one world linked by communications and trade, linked by markets, linked by finance, linked by environment and shared resources, linked by common aspirations. If we act now with realism and with foresight, if we show courage, if we think globally and allocate our resources accordingly, we can give our children a more equitable world. One where poverty and suffering will be reduced. This is not just a dream. This is our responsibility. Thank you very much for your time tonight. Thank you.